我今天到拜沙罗那了<笑> 我现在是十一月份。呀，嗯，时间过得很快的。不过这里哦，天气比较好，比中国好。中国很热的，你现在回去，你做好心理准备了。嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，
你看，这什么小香鸡吗？哎呦，我没有刘海线，你知道吗？We're doing something fun. We're getting what? We're getting figs and we're getting peaches. This is built by my grandfather. He built all of the stairs as well. And here's our fig tree. No. Wow! Look at how big. This is my favorite fruit ever. Wow! This fruit is so big. It's like a watermelon. Ah, I'm going to eat it. Ah! I'm going to look at the fruit. Our family's fruit is also very big. I'm going to eat it. 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 I am so happy right now. We have two peaches. This might be like not ripe enough. Look at the figs. I love figs so so much. This, in my opinion, is priceless because there's no additives, like no, um, what's it called? Pesticide? Is it pesticide? Like whatever stuff they put into fruits nowadays, but... Ah, I'm so happy! Barcelona. I'm unpacking and just sorting shit out. I spent the whole morning building furniture and then I realized that my plan, like my initial plan for my room is not working out so I've just been sorting that out but I'll give you guys the update in a bit but I'm gonna eat first because I'm starving. I ordered from my favorite place. It's called Jacob's Kitchen. I built my own little bowl. It has harissa chicken, a bunch of veggies, and I picked the couscous base. I got some, I think this is lemon tahini. This is pita bread, and I got like hummus mess. I ordered a lot because it's gonna be my lunch and dinner. Um, I still don't have any kitchenware at this place, so I've just been living off of delivery which is really bad but oh well i thought i would eat and just chit chat with you guys about you know going home after three years and mm, it was my first time seeing my mom after three years when covid happened my mom was in china and i was in spain and ever since i was just haven't been able to see her same with my dad my dad i haven't seen him in like four four years i think so this time when i went back Barcelona, my mom was there, my dad wasn't because of work and it was just, at first it was kind of awkward when I saw my mom because I was just like, ah, this is weird but I think the first few days were fine but then eventually I started fighting with my mom just because like we're so different, our personalities are just very different and like I have a good relationship with my mom um, but I just, if I live with her or if I stay too long with her we just start fighting about little things and as a child like i'm so grateful for my parents i'm so like all i want to do is make them happy but there's things where i cannot control like my emotions and it makes me feel very guilty whenever i kind of lash out on my mom and yeah it was hard in that sense but i've learned that it's something that needs to be worked on and like i'm not perfect she's not perfect so I would have stayed longer in Barcelona, but I have a lot of work here in London. And today we're going to a really cool event, which I'm really excited for. This is so good. This falafel. Mm. I didn't vlog everything in Barcelona, especially the weekend where I spent it with my best friends Laura and Sara, because I just wanted to catch up with them and kind of just relax and just spend quality time with them. Although for me, vlogging has become very natural, it is still something at the back of my head and like if I wanted to make a vlog out of it, I would always constantly be thinking about it and for this trip, I really just wanted to spend time with my family and my friends. But I always make TikToks, I always make stories, so you guys can go to my Instagram to check that out. But I had the most amazing time in Barcelona, I missed it so so much and 
I was gonna go back to Shanghai this Sunday, but I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I made a very impulsive decision to change my flights to August, um, mainly because I have a lot of work here in London. Like, I just wanna stay here and finish off the work and like just make the most out of it. What really triggered me to, I guess, change the flights and delay my trip to Shanghai was my fight with my mom because I felt so guilty and I didn't want to feel the same way with my dad in Shanghai and especially for like that long period of time I just didn't want to be in a position where I want to blame my parents for anything and like I just want to spend a good time with them so I decided to you know finish off whatever that I have to do here in London and then go back because then I wouldn't have any reason to blame it on them if you know anything goes wrong it's not like anything would go wrong it's just I know that with my personality my dad's personality like we would clash and I just want to make sure that that doesn't happen um, I mean it's not like delaying my flight is gonna change anything but at least I get to you know go with more like with more peace in mind peace of mind with a peace yeah I feel like I definitely need family therapy but therapy is not that common in Asian culture I don't know I'm, this may be oversharing but like I feel like every family has their own problems and I deeply encourage I don't know I don't know what I deeply encourage a little update on the bedroom so as you guys can see I moved this shelving out of my closet because I put in these drawers in the closet basically my idea was to place two of these here but they don't fit I figured that I can put this out get another one which will probably fit here and just have that and for this drawer here I put my jeans here but this is temporary because I'm not sure how efficient this would be here i keep my underwear and bras and sports bra and here i initially put my leggings and my sweatpants but i'm gonna have to redo this section as well because sweatpants take up a lot of space and i think there might be a better system for that since i emptied out my handbags here it's empty so i might place like sweatshirts i don't know things that are just foldable here or just things that i don't reach out to as much because it's quite high and i don't want to be like reaching over it all the time and that's the room update i'm just gonna continue on folding clothes kind of organize everything i just have a lot to do remember how i didn't have a dryer in my flat my landlord manager was kind enough and gave me a brand new washer and dryer Ta-chan! I am going to a Miu Miu event later, so... Okay friends, I need to get ready for Miu Miu now I'm running late because I still haven't finished cleaning up my room It's still a big mess Anyways, I'm first putting on some screen protector for my phone case before anything happens to it Whilst I talk to you guys the game plan So, um... I wanted to film, you see, having so many platforms like YouTube, Weibo, Little Red Book, Instagram, YouTube, did, did I say TikTok already? I don't know. Um, it's honestly just a bit much, like I never know for which platform I should create content with. And the thing with YouTube is, I love YouTube, but editing is a pain in the ass. And then TikTok is just way quicker. I can get content out by the day, and I'm just up to date, brands love it more, but... YouTube is like my place, you know? Yeah, okay, cool. I just got my outfit. I was stressing the whole day about my outfit. I was scared it wasn't gonna come, but it finally came. And now I'm gonna do my makeup. I'll show you guys the outfit that I'm wearing. I'm probably gonna just do my everyday makeup, like nothing too special. I feel like I didn't place it right. There's so much dust. This is how I film my TikToks and then I edit it later. But my outfit over here, I am so excited. Anyways, if you want to see my Mew Mew event, get ready with me. Go to my TikTok. This is the little outfit. I love it. But shoes are these Adidas sneakers. What do we think? Yeah, friends, I think I'm ready. Ready? 